energy of photons. In this video, we'll calculate the energy of radiation by measuring its frequency or wavelength. We introduced blackbody radiation in an earlier video. Planck's discovery about quantization of energy and the formula developed for it gives us a way to convert between frequency or wavelength and energy. Let's practice this now before continuing on our discussion of quantum mechanics. We'll use the equation below, E equals h nu, or E equals hc over lambda, to get the energy from the frequency or the wavelength. We've not yet talked about Planck's constant, but Planck's constant is used in this equation to convert between the two. Let's do one simple example where we are converting between frequency and wavelength. Again, practicing good problem solving techniques, we will first write down everything we know. We know that the speed of light and the wavelength. We also know the equation that relates the two things that we have with what we want, the energy. From here, we can fill in our knowns into the equation. We need to be careful about the same issue that occurred in earlier examples when converting between frequency and wavelength though. We're given the wavelength in nanometers, and so we're gonna need to convert that into meters before filling it in. If you're unfamiliar with the metric conversions, please review the material in your book and visit office hours for extra help to get you caught up on it. From here, we simply calculate and have our answer. We've now seen how to convert between frequency and energy. The exact same principle is used for wavelength and frequency, so be sure to practice going back and forth between lambda, nu, and energy on your own. And of course, we'll be doing more of that in class.